Hello all. Uh, here we go. I'm, uh, I'm stammering already. Okay, we're here in the Machannon State Forest. Uh, I'm primitive camping this weekend in one of these uh, free sites on Medix Run Road. Uh, there's, I think, 11 of these sites along this road. Here's my camper. I am presently in site nine. Uh, pretty, pretty dusty here considering all the rain we've gotten. Cars are going by, kicking up dust. I went for a little ride myself earlier. Went up and found Shaggers Inn Pond, which is a place I've never been to, but thanks to the map and GPS, I got some I think decent pictures. Uh, I'm going to show you around this site a little bit. You see I'm on a pretty well traveled dirt road. I'm surprised. since I got here about three hours ago I guess and uh, I think maybe seven eight cars have gone by in the time I've been here. Of course I was gone for a bit. I'll show you around this campsite a little bit. It's pretty nice back off the road a bit. Now up here I have a, a fire ring which is ugly but uh, wait it gets better. <clears throat> now there's these big rocks here so if you have a RV of some sort or a car camping you can't go past the rocks well. But if you go down this trail a bit, you come to this. Where you would conceivably have tents with a very nice firing. Got my fire going. I'm gonna try and uh, do some cooking here, but did too much messing around. I didn't realize how late it was getting. Time sure flies when you're doing something you like, you know? So, uh, <clears throat> here you could conceivably set up, you could probably get five, four, five, six tents in here. Real nice firing. And, uh, <clears throat> If you can hear in the background is the crick running, Medix run, or Medix run, not sure how you say it really. I need to ask some of my uh, local friends, Laney or Gary or Ben or <clears throat> but it's uh, flowing quite nicely. get you down here so you can see it. And why isn't my exposure moving? It's getting dark, you know. But uh I don't imagine this little tributary here runs all the time, but with all the rain we've gotten lately, it's, uh, there we go. It's running pretty good now. There's a place up here I found where you can cross it. And uh, I got some pictures up there, but we'll take you on down to the main part of the creek. Gotta watch I don't eat up too much of my battery doing this because uh, I only have two batteries and I don't have any way to charge them yet. 
I'm working on that. There's a creek right there, and uh, I think I'm facing pretty much west because the sun's sinking over there. I'm guessing this must be all fished out, or there, well, you would think there'd be some people in here fishing today. Nice day. Wind was kicking up there for a while. It actually acted like it was going to maybe rain, but it seems to have died down. Of course, it always does at dark, usually. And it's uh, getting dusk. Whoa. Well, uh, I'm going to cook me some dinner, and of course I'm yawning already, so I uh, usually go to bed early when I'm in these places. Hopefully I'll be able to hear the crick running at night. We'll see. But, uh, okay, I'm going on. Se almost seven minutes of video, so I'm going to uh, cut you out here, and tomorrow maybe we'll uh, take you to some other places. Um, I should have done some video up there at Shaggers Inn Pond, but didn't think of it. Don't know where I'm going tomorrow. Kind of like to go up to Fred Woods Trail. We'll see. So uh, until then. Good night and uh, sayonara from the Mo. See you later. Good morning, everybody. You can see uh, I survived. It's Saturday morning, about, uh, I think it's about 20 after 6. I just checked the time and temperature a little bit ago, 15 minutes or so ago, and uh, it was 55 degrees. Last night I slept in that new sleeping bag I got, which is a 50 degree bag, and I wasn't cold, but I wasn't warm either. It wasn't bad. It's not a bad bag for 40 bucks. So, uh, here it is, Saturday morning. Haven't seen the soul go by on the road yet. Uh, one thing I neglected to tell you last night during the tour was... Uh, I, I think my closest neighbor is maybe half a mile away, something like that. So I'm, I'm here by myself. Uh, nice night. Rained a little bit. I heard it rain a little bit during the night. I, got, I had to get up, let's see, three times to pee. Uh, wasn't raining any of those times I went out. Um, but the plan today is... Uh, I want to try and find a couple places on the Quahanna Trail and I have my map here right here let's see how uh, what I can do here um, take this lens hood off Now, according to my calculations, we are about right here. And it seems like the Quahanna Trail crosses Caledonia Pike several times. The cross connector and the main trail. It crosses here by Shaggers Inn Pond, which is where I was last night. And it crosses on down here. <clears throat> now, when I came up here in April and scoped this place out, I did not bring a map. I was totally unprepared and I, my thinking was these campsites were on Caledonia Pike. 
So I came in off 555 down here. I start down Caledonia Pike and I get down there a ways and now granted it was the weekend before the first day of trout, but I mean there were ruts uh, a foot deep and uh, it was obvious I didn't want to travel that road so I turned around and then I come to the stark realization that uh, I needed to get in here off the Quahanna Highway so but I don't know if uh, they ran a road grader on Caledonia Pike that them ruts are gone or or what but I don't know if I if I if I go down here I think I might it'd be kind of dumb to go clear back up and so I'd probably take take Meadix grade back down to Caledonia Pike which is up that way whoops I'm underexposed again up that way and go down and just start looking for a trailhead I guess <clears throat> but it looks like not too far up there there's a couple overlooks and of course you're heading if I go that direction I'll be heading toward the reactors where the reactor was uh, so that's my plan I want to I want to check out this Quahanna Trail for possible future backpacking endeavors and uh, looks like that might be a good place to start I don't, surely there's a place to park a car there but we'll uh, we'll find out um, it was a nice night for sleeping and yes indeed I could hear the creek running quite quite plainly in bed but I I slept like a baby I usually do I must have really really slept because uh, I'm a little kinked up in places partially because of not being in my own bed and partially because I think I zonked and never moved so but uh, that, that's what's going on this morning well uh, I got my uh, water on for my coffee I got my granola bars and as soon as I get get fueled up here we'll be headed out probably to those areas I just told you so I'll be back later good morning everyone it's a beautiful Saturday morning I've been up for quite a while right now I'm out in the middle of the Quahanna Trail just off of uh, Wallace Mine Road trying something new here I got the camera on the tripod try and carry it that way see if it's any more stable um, I'm about a half mile into this hike I really don't know where I'm going I have a map I have a GPS um, crossed uh, a couple roads with signs that said Parker Dam is like eight miles away so I mean I, I know where I'm at but I don't know where I'm at um, places here you you think you're uh, out in the middle of nowhere and then you come up on things like this this is a beautiful cabin in the middle of the woods here I must be coming up on a road because uh, obviously you got to get to this thing somehow so uh, I think I'm, I'm okay I got a map I know where I'm parked I know I'm headed away from Parker Dam so uh, according to the map I should be coming up on some scenic overlooks here in a little bit I'm pretty sure uh, something pretty cool that happened just a little ways back there was uh, I put out a, a, a doe deer white-tailed deer and I uh, took about three steps and there was a little fawn laying in the middle of the path um, I got some pictures of it I really had to shoo it away to get it to move because I was heck five feet from it but that's the way they are they sit tight until the last possible second and uh, I was kind of hoping to get a picture of it running away but that didn't happen but I still got a picture of it laying so I'm gonna uh, walk a little bit here while I 
record. Yeah, I still got the sniffles. Snorting keeps the bears away. The only wildlife I've seen is uh, deer, obviously. Squirrels, chipmunks. That's about it. Kind of looking for places to camp along here, and I've found a couple, but they're not exactly uh, too uh, secluded. The one I found was pretty nice near a water source, but you look over and there's a guy's camp with the outhouse right in plain view, and uh, there was another one I found. It was pretty nice with a stream nearby, but the water was, I shouldn't say the water was red, but the earth around it was red, like it's still getting some mass in mine drainage. Here's a nice little bridge. Not very old by the looks of it. That looks like some pretty clean water. Supposed to be a nice day today, I guess, and possibly rain tomorrow morning, maybe 10 or 11 o'clock. So I'm kind of hoping to get up and get packed up and going before it rains. Because taking that camper home and setting it back up is a pain in the butt. Uh, I am depleting batteries pretty fast and I have no way to charge them so I'm gonna shut this thing off for a bit. Let's see, I'm five minutes into this segment. So uh, if I find this overlook that I think I'm coming to, I'll tune you back in. Until then, I'll keep on ouch, hiking later. I'm back briefly. And uh, I just discovered I had my autofocus on that whole time, so if you get uh, autofocus noises, I'm sorry. But I had to show you this. This, I don't know where I'm at or what waterway this is, uh, but this would just make one awesome campsite. Looks like uh, there's you can see where people have camped on this side. There's a uh, evidence of a fire here, right there. No uh, ring or anything, but still. But this little stream is is nice. Be a nice source for filtered drinking water. But it looks like maybe across the way there. The, more people have uh, spent some time there, but check this out. That's a million dollar view right there. All right, enough of that. I, I'm gonna, I'm running my battery down. I'm gonna take some still pictures here and continue on.
found another nice campsite. Check this one out. I'm like a mile and a half in from the car. Right beside a nice creek, running nice, good water. Obviously gets used a bit. The only bad thing is, uh, I guess there's a tree right, there's a lot of pine trees in here with them little stubby limbs. Really no good place to hang your food. But, wow, what a view. Check this out. Yeah, of course there's a limb right there, but let me see. Look at that. Did you spend a night here? Well, hell yeah. All right, I'm a mile and a half in from the car, but I'm gonna keep going. Uh, I'll check in with you later. See ya. Hi everybody, I'm back. Uh, I had to abort my original plan. I'm actually on my way back right now because um, I ran out of water. Can you believe that? Here I am next to a water source, but I have no filter and I ran out of water. So I made it a little over two and a half miles in. I'm about uh, I'd say a half mile into my way back and I had to stop at this spot because it is gorgeous. Uh, there's a place on up or downstream rather a little bit where make a real nice campsite. If I only had a water filter I could filter all kinds of water out of here but that's next priority is David's getting a water filter. But I stopped here because Man, this is a nice spot. I gotta, I'll pan the camera around here in a minute. Um, I got a real nice little drop here beside me. Uh, I'll show it to you here. Battery lights blinking. You could make some mountain fresh beer out of that. All right, well, I got another battery in my pocket, but I gotta, I guess, figure out a way to charge this one, run up to Benazette to the pavilion or something, but uh, still got one battery, so uh, I wanna take, I'm not so hell-bent on video, but I wanna take some pictures. I don't wanna run out of battery, so. All right, that's another segment. I'll talk to you later. Hi, everybody. Uh, this will be my in conclusion segment of the video. Uh, I didn't really get to finish up out in the woods because I ran out of camera battery. So, uh, it's a few things that gonna happen before I do this again. Uh, one is I need a way to recharge batteries. Uh, I actually went down to Parker Dam not only to do some investigation but to uh, I was gonna plug my battery in for a minute and recharge one. Well I left the plug at home thinking I wasn't gonna have a way to recharge so I, I need to get a battery pack so I can recharge the two batteries I have. Uh, my water situation, I'm terrible at water. I went out hiking this morning with one bottle. I needed more. I ran out. I had no, I mean, I'm walking beside a stream for three-fourths of my trip with no way to filter water. Uh, I get back here. I'm low on water, so uh, I went and found a place where I could get water out of a spring. Well, now I got a gallon and a half water. I'm 
leaving tomorrow that I don't need. So the water situation is a little, little uh, something I haven't quite figured out. Uh, I actually found uh, a few spots down here where the Quahanna Trail actually crosses about, I don't know, only two miles from here. Um, went for a little ride this afternoon and encountered some backpackers coming down the hill. And, but uh, I went down to the road here and I have no idea where the trail went from there. Hopefully they found it. I mean, there was blazes there, but I couldn't, I, I couldn't tell where the trail was. I walked up a few little paths looking for orange blazes. I couldn't figure it out. So. But the places I went on the trail today were, were nice, real nice. Uh, possible future backpacking destinations. Uh, this campsite is, is beautiful. Uh, the water's running nice. I got the sun setting behind me. I got my got my fire going. Um, got my food ready to cook. A uh, few other things I forgot. Uh, I got flannel sleep pants I meant to bring. I forgot those. But uh, I got a little cold last night, but not unbearably cold. I still slept like a baby. Uh, what else did I forget? Um, Oh, condiments. I brought hamburgers, hot dogs, buns, but no ketchup or mustard. So in my travels today, I, I bought some mustard. A uh, little frustrated right now because I bought a two liter bottle of Diet Pepsi this afternoon. I will be damned if I can find that thing. I have no idea where the hell it went. I just swore I brought it back here and put it straight in the refrigerator, but it's not in there. And I don't know where the hell it's at. Uh, so, I want to get stuff packed up tonight pretty much. So all I got to do is uh, pull the camper down, hook it up and go. Because I guess it's supposed to rain sometime tomorrow. And uh, all in all, real nice, real nice trip so far. Uh, I don't foresee any problems tonight. So I'm going to call it a success. Uh, get up and get out of here and get back home. So my uh, fire's burned down to coal, so I'm gonna put my burgers on and I will, uh, I will talk to you later.